All right, guys, Christmas is around the corner and I've got a great list of fragrances here for you today that smell like Christmas spices. And what are Christmas spices? Generally warm spices such as cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and potentially there's fresh spices mixed in as well, such as cardamom, ginger, and uh, other fresh spices. But mostly we're focusing on the warm ones because I think those smell more like Christmas to me, but they'll eventually mix in some fresh spices in there as well. But I've got 12 fresh fragrances here. It's a rank list. If you're curious to learn about fragrances that smell like Christmas spices, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yeah, we're talking about Christmas spices today. Fragrances that smell like Christmas spices. It's around the corner too. It's just like a week or so. I mean, maybe a little over a week by the time this video airs. And you know what? I'm actually going to be flying on Christmas Day. I leave San Francisco Christmas Eve later in the day or evening. And then I'm actually flying to London. So I'll be spending Christmas on a plane. I've done that a few times before. This is once that I haven't done recently though. And I'm kind of excited to spend it on a plane it could be different but uh, I'm most likely we're not going to smell Christmas spices but generally I really love the idea of Christmas spices and the way homes smell with all the spices that are used in different food items that are cooked around the Christmas season so we're going to start off with the first fragrance going to the house of Parfums de Marly it's Wajan at number 12 this is a spicy kind of a Christmas dessert smelling fragrance. It's a fragrance that kind of also reminds me of several other fragrances. I've, in fact, I've got a video coming very soon which will feature this particular fragrance, but it features cinnamon, honey, tonka beans, benzoin, osmanthus, and labdanum, so it's ambery. For me, it smells like a pastry, maybe like a baklava with sprinklings of cinnamon on top because there's definitely like doughiness in there. So it totally reminds me of Christmas because that smell is really, really delicious and has, you know, the warm spiciness that I usually associate with Christmas spices. So Wajan at number 12. Uh, then moving on to the house of Maison Margiela, it's by the fireplace. And in, I actually wanted to do a video on chestnut fragrances. It's really hard to find chestnut fragrances, not that many. But there's definitely this one here. It's very, very popular. It's vanilla with chestnut, guyac wood, peru balsam, and cloves. And it's the cloves in this one that kind of mix with the vanilla and the chestnuts to give me that kind of a Christmas vibe. It smells like Christmas. Plus it has that very light smokiness in here. It's definitely smoky, but for me, I don't find this to be like a real authentic smokiness. Like a lot of you were mentioning why I left it off in my smokiest fragrances video because I think those are much smokier but there's a little bit of smokiness here but it's mostly a gourmand with that kind of nuttiness from the chestnut the vanilla and then also the ambery touches and of course the cloves which is what really reminds me of Christmas spices so it's by the fireplace from the house of uh, Maison Margiela at, at number 11. Moving on to the house of Baruti, it's chai. We've got two tea-focused fragrances that are on the list. This is the first one of two. This one to me smells like Christmas spices because of all the spices that are in here. And chai tea, usually there's lots of spices, fresh spices, warm spices, but chai from Baruti features notes of black tea, cardamom, cinnamon, milk, cloves, ginger, pepper, cacao, and vanilla. So it's that it's that combination of the warm spices, the cinnamon and cloves and the fresh spices, the ginger and uh, there's the pepper in there as well. Uh, I left that off earlier but it's a great smelling kind of tea and warm and spicy, smells like Christmas spices kind of a fragrance that's perfect to remind you of Christmas especially if you're wearing these outside of the Christmas season. So it's chai from the house of Baruti at number 10. Moving on to the house of uh, Costume National. This is a male fragrance. I think a woman can totally pull it off. It's Costume National Homme Parfum. This one to me is a very cinnamony and even though there's no mention of cloves in this one seems like there might be some cloves and also I feel like there's a bit of fruitiness in here and a bit of um tea vibe in here as well. But in the end, it's cinnamon with labanum, amber, sandalwood, cardamom, grapefruit, patchouli, vetiver. Definitely has freshness. There's a fresh spiciness from the cardamom here and of course loads of cinnamon. It's warm. So you've got kind of like a combo of fresh and warmth together, which smells fantastic. Definitely has the, the citrusiness, the bitter kind of grapefruity uh, kick, uh, the, the zing, and then of course uh, lots of woods in here as well. So this is a Costume National Homme 
Parfum at number nine. Moving on to the House of Libertine fragrance. This is Gilded, this one right here. This is another Christmas spices fragrance uh, because it's got all those warm spices in here, but it also has some resins in here as well and some kind of a caramelly brown sugary touch in here. And it smells like dessert with spices, laced with spices. And of course, there's some light smokiness in there with that olibanum note, which uh, kind of gives you like a fireplace like a coziness because you've got this kind of gooey, doughy, caramelly, brown sugary touch in here with loads of fresh spices of cardamom and that warm spice of cinnamon. It's quite delicious and totally reminds me of Christmas spices or Christmas at my mom's house because she used a lot of cinnamon and cloves for Christmas desserts and pastries and cookies and things like that. So Gilded from the House of Libertine Fragrance is um, definitely a fragrance that reminds me of uh, Christmas spices. Moving on to the House of Aesop, it's Marrakesh Intense. And here we go uh, once again with the combination of warm spices and uh, fr uh, fresh spices. We've got cardamom in this one. Very, very pungent. You can totally notice it. And then you've got that warmth from the cloves in here. And cloves have a very distinct smell. It's not a very modern note. I think it seems a bit classic to me as a note because cloves, also carnations kind of remind me of one another. And they don't use them a lot. But here, they did a great job with this fragrance. It's really, really fresh and spicy and also warm and spicy. So I mentioned cardamom and cloves, there's bergamot, there's rose, there's jasmine, there's neroli and sandalwood and cedar. So eventually it gets kind of woody in the base, but it's all spices and flowers. And I feel like rose and cloves kind of really do uh, kind of marry together wonderfully. Kind of for me, when cloves and rose kind of uh, are put together, it kind of reminds me of some classic fragrances, which this one kind of hints at a little bit, but it's very, very modern and fresh and warm at the same time. So Marrakesh Intense from the house of Aesop is number seven. Moving on to the house of Jo Malone. It's Pomegranate Noir, this one right here. The very first time I smelled this, in the very early 2000s, I thought, man, that smells like Christmas spices. And for the longest time, I, I mean, I wore it at one, that time. And since I've been doing videos, I hadn't bought it again. I finally bought it a couple of years ago. And definitely very satisfactory fragrance and totally reminds me of the Christmas spices or Christmas ha holiday season. It features notes of cloves, pink pepper, pomegranate, rhubarb, cedar, patchouli, musk, amber, guyac wood, poppinax, and plums. So there's a lot going on here, but in the end, it's an eau de cologne fragrance, so it's not overwhelming. But it does seem like there's complexity here with the notes. You've got some fruitiness for sure, not only from the pomegranates, but the plums, but there's lots of spice here. The cloves are prominent, and that's what really kind of reminds me of that kind of whole Christmas spiciness. But there's musk here, and there's also an ambery woody base as well. Really delicious. Like If you guys don't know this one, do check it out. Pomegranate Noir at number six, and that's from the house of Joe Malone. All right, moving on to number five. It's from the house of Atelier d'Azur. This is Rouge Sarre, this one right here. This one was featured in my kit number one, Scent Club kit number one. Those of you that got the kits, uh, I hope you enjoyed this particular fragrance because for me, it's like a holiday spices and also kind of a dessert and gooey kind of syrupy, sticky, kind of a gooey dessert uh, idea come to life. For me, it's super delicious with vanilla. There's dates, there's cinnamon, there's plums, patchouli, peru balsam, guyac wood. Once again, it's got that kind of sticky, kind of syrupy, almost like maple syrup or some kind of honeyed touch here. And imagine, you know, cup cutting up your dates and plums and drizzling it with some kind of a doughy something with the peru balsam and then drizzling it with cinnamon and topping it off with some kind of a honey or something. That's what this smells like. It's really, really delicious. I'm very, very spicy. Uh, it's a wonderful offering. So Rouge Sarre from the house of Atelier d'Azur. Uh, wonderful fragrance from that house. Uh, but then this one is even more spicier. We're going to the house of Frederick Mall. It's Noir a piece. This one right here. This one I had to pull down from my list, uh, you know, from my uh, vintage fragrances because this is a old Frederick Mall bottle, not an Estee Lauder bottle, so I don't use it much. But Noir a piece for me is kind of like that orange that you stick cloves on. What is that called? I, I, I don't do that, but I used to remember as a kid, I used to really love doing that. And that's what this smells like to me. Cloves and oranges together. But it's lots of cloves with orange. There's geranium, there's nutmeg, black pepper, cinnamon, rose, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, and cedar. It's quite delicious, very, very spicy. It's got warm spices. It's got lots of aromatics. The geranium has this kind of rosiness. There's definitely rose presence in here. A bit of patchouli for earthiness, woods and uh, everything kind of mixed in together. But for me, it's kind of
kind of like a very orangey clove fragrance. It, cloves are very, very uh, like dominant here and you'll definitely notice it. And that's why I feel like it's a very Christmas spicy fragrance. Noir at Pieces from the house of Frederick Mall at number four. And then this one is Diptyque's first fragrance ever. It's Low. Low is uh, Christmas spices come to life. Totally, uh, it's like cinnamon and cloves together. It's really, really in your face. You gotta enjoy these spices to enjoy this particular fragrance. It's lots of cinnamon and cloves. And for me, these are the two notes or spices that really remind me of Christmas because it was used a lot in my family as I was growing up for the Christmas season. Always baking and you know lacing all the desserts and things with cinnamon and cloves. And, and I love that smell. I just really do. And in the in addition to the cinnamon and cloves here we've got geranium there's rose and sandalwood it might be a bit simplistic but there's definitely woods here a bit floral touch from the rose geranium aromatic a bit minty a bit rosy but for me it's all about the cinnamon and cloves low from the house of diptyque really delicious and then at number two tobacco vanille even though i say this is my thanksgiving fragrance i think it also smells like christmas spices to me definitely does uh, it's uh, lots of uh, cinnamon and cloves here for sure although i think it's more cinnamon than cloves but there's definitely a clovey presence i think they mentioned spices in general uh, not necessarily cinnamon but i feel like you get cinnamon and cloves in this one but for sure it's about tobacco and vanilla that's the name tobacco vanille you've also got some cacao tonka beans dried fruits and woods. It's super delicious, really smells fantastic. I did wear it at Christmas, I mean, I'm sorry, I did wear it on Thanksgiving Day just last couple of uh, weeks ago. I don't think I'll be wearing it on Christmas because I'll be on a flight, but it is really a great fragrance that reminds me of Christmas spices. And then I'm also gonna recommend this one. This one was recently sent to me. I don't really know the brand. To me, it smells like, um, Christmas spices, but it also reminds me a lot of tobacco vanille. So I'm kind of putting this together. You guys check it out if you want to. This is a house called Pio Sim, and it's Lost Wanderer. For me, it's very ambery and spicy, and it also has honey touches and vanilla and tobacco musk. But also for me, it reminds me of uh, tobacco vanille, but it also reminds me a little bit of this one. It's like, kind of like a combination of wajan and tobacco vanille together because it's the honey in, in this one instead of like the vanilla which is in tobacco vanille, kind of like uh, gives me that whole feeling of like tobacco vanille laced with wajan. But that's the kind of fragrance it is. It's very warm and spicy. And uh, again, I don't really know who the brand is very well. I, they only have one fragrance. I looked them up on the we uh, on their website, and it's definitely very, very like warm and spicy, and smells like Christmas spices to me. So it's Lost Wanderer, at, and the brand is Pio Sim. And if I didn't mention, that was just an additional recommendation. Uh, I wanted to highlight it because it was brand spanking new to me and it kind of reminds me of tobacco vanille and as I said also wajan together. So number one fragrance is L'Artisan Parfumeur's Tea for Two. Christmas spices come to life. This is totally Christmas spices and I said I have two tea fragrances. We've got chai from Baruti and L'Artisan Parfumeur's Tea for Two. And Tea for Two is also tobacco and cinnamon together with lots of tea. And there's also spices here, honey, ginger, star anise, gingerbread, leather, vanilla, and bergamot. So it's all these different ingredients, including the gingerbread and the ginger and the star anise and the honey and all the spices. I get cardamom in here. I get cloves and uh, you know perhaps some pepper, but it's just a beautiful, cornucopia of spices and kind of like a desserts for Christmas and that's why I feel like it deserves the number one spot you know and, and you just saw that I featured tobacco vanilla at number two uh, I could be a toss-up between the two but I am putting this one here because it does have a little bit more of a holiday vibe because they mentioned the gingerbread and all the other spices either way this is L'Artisan Parfumeur's Tea for Two at number one have you guys tried that one are you into the fragrances in this list are you into the idea of cinnamon and cloves or any Christmas Christmas spices, let me know, put a comment down. If there's another fragrance that I should check out that reminds you of Christmas spices, do let me know, put a comment down so I can find out. But either way, way guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. And last but not least, I have one bonus option for you guys. It's a classic, my dad wore this, and there's actually a woman's version under a completely other name and brand that's very similar to this, although it's under the same conglomerate. So first I'm gonna to talk to you about JHL from Aramis, which my dad wore. It's a cinnamon clove bomb.
clothes and carnation at the same time. And then the woman's version or something similar to the uh, to this version is called Cinnabar. I believe it's under Estee Lauder. So I don't really have that particular version. I'm going to talk to you about this one. This one's a bit tough to get. I bought mine during the pandemic and it's a, you know, like a spice bomb. For me, it's cinnamon and cloves and carnation. But to me, it smells like Christmas spi spices in a classic way. Take me back to the 70s and 80s uh, and, uh, you know, spending Christmas at that time. But as I said, lots of cinnamon, lots of cloves, lots of carnation. There's benzoin, there's aldehydes, there's sandalwood, there's rose, amber, patchouli, labdanum, ylang ylang, fir, musk, and orange. Lots going on here, very, very complex. But these fragrances from Aramis are uh, eau, de, eau de toilette or eau de cologne. So it could be uh, depending on which one, uh, version you have. But uh, very light. But at the time, I remember these things were beast mode for their concentration. Very, very intense fragrances. And this brings back memories of when my dad um, wore this particular fragrance. But either way, JHL from the House of Aramis is my bonus option for you guys. If you can find a bottle, get it. I don't know how long these fragrances are going to be around. Uh, but definitely worth having for nostalgia reasons. Uh, totally reminds you of the Christmas holiday. It's because very, very Christmas spicy. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Have a good one. Goodbye.